Hello everyone. Now we will move on to our next debugging challenge. And this debugging challenge is based upon the ALV by object oriented concepts or object oriented programming. And into this particular program, we are using CLGUI ALV grid class. You all know, yes, those who have the knowledge of this particular ALV by object oriented concept, they know this is one of the class which is used to display the ALV grid, which is used to display the data in the form of ALV grid. And I will go for same to same practice Whatever the error code and solution code is there, I will kept at the shared drive. Suppose if I will go for this particular shared drive, I kept the error code and solution code. If I will go for this shared drive, if I will go for debugging challenges, I will go to error code folder. So I have debugging challenge number 16. This is error code. If I will go to solution code, this is our debugging challenge number 16 solution code. But into this debugging challenge, you need to take care for the two points because those two points, I cannot do anything. I cannot copy paste. Suppose at the last of this particular program, there is a statement call screen 100. Those who have the knowledge of ALV by this particular class, CLGUI ALV grid class, they all know, yes, you need to create this particular screen. So what you can do after copy pasting this particular code, just create this particular screen. Once you create the particular screen, you need to go to layout and you need to design one container there. So you need to do the two things manually. After copy pasting the error code, you need to create the screen and you need to create one container. I'll just wait for the layout to open. Yes. I think system is slow. It might take some time. So you need to design one container there. I'll just open again. I'll go to the program because I cannot copy paste this particular thing. You need to create the screen, go for the layout of the screen. Now it will open and you need to design one container there. This is the custom container. You need to design this. Now we will understand what this debugging challenge is all about. And yes, on daily basis, I'm getting lots of mail regarding this particular thing. So I thought this should be the part of debugging challenge. Now this debugging challenge is similar to just like previous debugging challenge of smart form. What was in the previous debugging challenge of smart form? We are debugging why the header data is not coming, not coming. But the problem is with the template itself, template height itself. Data is not an issue. So at that time, the first thing should be in our mind. Yes, if the problem is with the data, then why the labels are not coming? Same thing we need to realize here. So firstly, what I will do, I'm running this particular program. I'm giving input 1 to 10. I'm executing the program. And the output is not coming. ALV is not displaying. Now what we will do in real projects, because what we will do, we'll simply debug, debug and check why the output is not coming. So what I will do, I will put a break. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint onto first executable statement. I'm running this particular program. I'm going for sales order number 1 to 10. I'm executing the program. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, 
Now, based upon the input, we are fetching the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. As of now, zero record five columns executing using F16. Now we have 10 records and five columns. The first query perfectly fine, size of RC zero. Now, now we are fetching data from VBAP table based upon the data of VBAK internal table. If condition true, now second query also successfully executed and into this internal table, we have 12 records. Now we are merging that data of these two internal table into this final internal table. If I will check, if I will simply put the breakpoint and check, LT underscore final, now 12 records. So data is perfectly fine into this final internal table. Done. Now we are preparing field catalog. So I'll just go to the last of the field catalog logic and putting a breakpoint doing F8. So this logic executed. Now field catalog internal table, seven columns, perfectly fine. It means field catalog internal table done, LT final done. Now we are creating the object of the container. Now the object of the container successfully created. Now we are creating object of grid and container object is acting as a parent. Now the object of grid successfully created. Now the object of grid successfully created. Now we are calling this method to bind that data with the field catalog. You can see size sub RC0 perfectly fine. We are calling the screen. On the screen, we have the container. Now if I will go to execute. But why the output is not coming? Yes. Now we will go for simple understanding. What should be our first approach at this point of time? We should not blindly go for that debugging. Yes, if the problem is with the data, at least blank container should appear. But in our current scenario, even blank container is not coming. It means problem is not with the data. Problem is with the container itself. If problem is with the data, at least you will get a blank container here. But in our current scenario, we are not even getting a blank container. So what I will do? I will simply close this. Now we'll check why the container is not even appearing. Now we created the object of the container and what the name we gave container, full container, C-O-N-T-A-I-N-T-A-I-N-E-T-A-I-N-E-R. If I will go for the screen where we designed the container, I will check what the name we gave there is. Okay, it is not opening. Memory is low. I'll just open again. Okay, I'll just open the program again. I'll just open the screen painter again. If I will go to layout. Now screen painter will open. Now, if you check the name of the container in the layout, it is CO. So this is the main mismatch there. If this should be the first thing in our mind, there is no need to debug this much logic. Suppose in our current example, we have only two tables. Just think about a real project. We are simply debugging, debugging, debugging. But the problem is very silly at the initial level. We should think at the initial level. Is the container is visible or not visible? Forget about data. 
Now, if I'm changing the name of the container, if I'm making it as C-O-N-T, now it will display. Now, if I will go for this execute, if I will go for the input, if I will simply go for execute, now you can see perfectly fine. There's no need to even debug the individual queries. If we think at the initial level, at least blank container must be there. If in, in a previous case, yes, when we have the when we have a name mismatch, even this blank container is not appearing. Now, suppose if I will go for back button, but the second mistake people will do. They are saying they pass the same to same name. At that time, you are passing the name in small. Here you are passing the name in small. And this is the second mistake which maximum people do. And they will say they give the same name. Please put in capital letters. SAP is, is not a case sensitive language, but string values are case sensitive. If I will do F8, now you can see nothing is appearing. So just please, please pass the container name in capital, yes. And this should be the first thing in the mind. Suppose I will just go for addition, add, uh, I will just add one extra point here. If you want to see the blank container, suppose I'm not appending the data. It means LT final is blank, but container is correct. It means there is no data in the internal table. If I will go to execute, at least now we will be able to see blank container. You can see blank container is coming. If we think at the initial level, at least blank container is there. Now the values are not coming. Values are not coming. So we should debug the queries after that, yes. But at least now the blank container is there. It means the problem is with the logic now, yes. That's why I commented and showed you, yes. But in our previous case, even the blank container was not coming. And that should be our first thing into our mind. Now, if I will run, now everything is perfectly fine. That's why I commented the append statement intentionally I sh and I showed you how the blank container looks like. So what is the summary of this particular debugging challenge? Important debugging challenge in what sense that every day I'm getting lots of mail regarding this. Either they pass the container name in small or the container name is mismatching. So what is into this debugging challenge? We have ALV by CLGUI ALV grid class. Whenever you are, we are using this particular concept, we need to design one container, yes. And we are creating the object of the container, yes. Whenever you are going for this practice, the first thing, whenever we run this particular program, yes, we check, yes, output is not coming. And we are blindly going for debugging of the logic. But the first thing should be in our mind. At least we should get a blank container. If that is the first point of action, we can resolve the mistake very easily. Now, please do not pass the container name in small, pass in capital. Second check, is there any container name mismatch? Yes. And third thing, Whenever you will practice this debugging challenge, you need to create this thing, create this screen manually, and you need to design one container there. After that, you can practice this debugging challenge and you can take the code from that shared folder. So that's it in this debugging challenge. Thank you.